welcome back. But if you're just joining us for the very first time, this is Why in the Morning, in particular on Y254 channel. Karibu Sunny, you can always interact with us on our social media handles, and that is at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Did you know we also on YouTube? Huh? Fun fact, same place, the Y254 channel on YouTube. In case you ever missed an interview or you just kind of want to see us again and again. My name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. But you know, to go stage to me, Val, I'll know what to do with it. I will know what to do. Ah, yeah, T minus how many hours till Saba Saba? I don't know. I just, I'm trying to say the dates. I don't know what you're thinking about. Just in the seventh day of the seventh month. Anyway, this is where we have a very interesting conversation with a very interesting person. It's techie, but I'd like to think it's a little bit of both worlds, the best of both worlds, rather, where tech meets entertainment. I don't even think you're ready yet. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes. Tell us where you're watching from. Tell us what you want to hear. Do you have a question? Hi. What's your question? Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Please introduce yourself to the people. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Mark Kildinchi. I I am a software developer, specifically a mobile Android software developer. So I make apps. I've um, been doing it for the past uh, two and a half years. I'm currently a freelancer. So I do them, uh, uh, like you can say I do them from home, on my own time, on my own uh, work basis. I, so I do projects for clients and I also do my own projects. So in simp simply put, my name is Mark and I make apps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is not very simple. <laughs> that sounds complicated. Yeah, it's, it's Tell us, complex, Mark, yeah. about mm -hmm. your apps. What kind of apps do you make? Um, <clears throat> applications, I can do many applications. Mm -hmm. um, I <clears throat> so, so, for so far, the kind of apps I've made have been entertainment and uh, I've also worked on utility apps. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've made apps that uh, can enable you to stream content online. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch TV on your local, your local TV stations. You can tune in wherever you are in the world. Mm -hmm. You can also listen to radio um, wherever you are in the world. Any radio station, your mm -hmm. vernacular ones, your English ones, local ones. Um, I've also worked, the utility apps I've worked on, I've worked on um, a book app. Um, mm -hmm. An app that's, uh, that can allow you to, that can allow users to, to to write books and mm -hmm. post them, so like a so social media for, for books. Wow, yeah, like so a Kindle. Yeah, just like Kindle, but only for Kenya. It's Kenya. Oh. oh. So, uh, so users can write books um, and and uh, share them, mm -hmm. and so other users will read their books and they can comment. They can uh, they can do all that. Same way, just like how you'd post a photo on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. I have. Mm -hmm concerns with with how technology is advancing mm -hmm. in this day and age i fear for our privacy your privacy yes a okay. little bit mm -hmm. certainly for someone who, like me who has like, for example an app like instagram on my phone mm -hmm. <coughs> A few days ago, we spoke to another developer, not really application, but okay. I, his was a bit complicated, but right. it, it led me to understand that I agree checkbox is, is heavier than <laughs> we, we take it a little bit. Right. So does it infringe on anything? Do you take my information once I download your app? Do you store it somewhere? Are you going to use it against me? <laughs> well, that's, that's a good question, by mm. the way. Um, I, I, I personally don't, don't prefer taking uh, people's information. Mm -hmm. I, I respect privacy, <coughs> um, but there are people who will take your information mm -hmm. um, just because you downloaded their apps. Mm -hmm. um, a, a, an example is uh, these uh, um, loaning apps. Some of them do tend to infringe on your, on your information. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason they do that is to say they can find you out later. So there are reasons for taking uh -huh. your information here. Yeah. There are reasons why they will take your information. There are those who take your information to, to sell it. Mm -hmm. So once you download the app, they can take some of your info mm -hmm. and sell it to other companies. And that's how they make, they make money. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I don't, I don't prefer that way of making income. So how I do it, I just, uh, I, I have other ways of making money through my applications. But they, it's a concern. So mm -hmm. you should know um, the app you're downloading, whether it takes information, there is, on the Play Store, on the App Store, that information is there. Mm 
Mm -hmm. um, just so before you download, make sure what you're giving away and what you're getting. The, the terms and conditions, why they got to be so long though? <laughs> you should read them. You should read them. All of them. Yeah, because uh, if you were to, let's say you were to make it legal mm -hmm. um, and they bring up the terms and conditions, they're binding for you or for them. So you could give something away mm -hmm. and, and there's nothing you can do about it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally in my hands. Yeah, yeah, you can just give it away. Wow. Yeah. All right. You said Android apps. Yes, Android apps. Okay. Before we get specifically why Android, what's the difference between iOS mm. and Android apps? Are they um, not just apps? Y yes, they are just apps. Uh, um, they're just apps, but um, they are uh, different. They are, and what makes them different is uh, their, their, their operating system that they run on. Mm -hmm. So Android apps run on uh, as an OS called, and when I say OS, I mean operating system. They run on an OS called Android, made by Google. And uh, iOS apps run on uh, an Apple, an Apple OS. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was, it, they, you can't mix the two. <coughs> um, it's, I, I don't know if people understand that, but what, what I mean is um, just like how you can have Windows, uh, Windows operating system and uh, Mac OS, mm -hmm. for those who understand. So because there are two different operating systems, mm -hmm. they, work, they both work differently. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to make apps, you have to make apps for each individual operating system. So when we have an application, okay, I don't know why I'm using Instagram a lot today, mm -hmm. I'll just promo. <laughs> but if I have an app like Instagram, mm -hmm. it works both for Android and iOS. Yeah, it, you can have Instagram on Android uh -huh. and also on iOS, but uh, the way they were made mm -hmm. for each, for each uh, operating system is different. It's different. Uh, their, their involvement, their, their, their workstations, the, let me say that the, 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 the tools that were used were very, they look the same, mm -hmm. the end results are the same, but they're very different. The really? background, yeah, yeah. Are they visible differences? For example, like if mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. really, yeah, there are some visible differences. Like if you look at the 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 way the Apple the the Instagram on Apple works is not the way it does on Android. Actually, I'd say the one on Apple is way better. Um, for example, if you were to do a voice recording on a on the Instagram on a, on the on the iOS, mm -hmm. it sounds way better than that on the on the Android, wow. they're, 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 they're tailored differently. So yeah. no man at iPhone or Ringa? Oh, Ringa. <laughs> they have a reason wow. to. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. anyway, Tom yeah. Dr. Adel said, hey, Muringe. <laughs> <laughs> Muringe to. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes. All right. Tell me, you said you have, okay, wait. Tell me something about your application, the one mm -hmm. that streams radio or uh -huh. TV. Does that infringe on anybody's rights? Can Let's say I have a radio station called Valentine right. and you somehow get to stream it on your application. Mm -hmm. Would you be offending me in any way or taking away my profit somehow? No, right. Um, it, uh, it depends on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you look at it. I have, um, so the, app, the apps I've made, uh, they allow Kenyans to stream uh, TV and radio from wherever they are in the world, so mm -hmm. from their mobile phones. Mm -hmm. So it's about convenience. Um, so it's a platform they can do that from. Uh, so it depending, uh, in terms of infringement, mm -hmm. depends on how you look at it. I've had people approach me and tell me, hey, um, I like your platform, I have a radio station, and I would like you to help me stream it and get it out there. So that those who have approached me and told me, I like what you're doing, mm -hmm. and the fact that you put my radio station out there. Uh, oh. Yeah, so they, they and, and uh, those who tell me, hey, so, I notice you put my radio station out there, so here's my I updated link. That is those who tell me to update the ah. the links and uh, in within the app, so that, that those to whom it's a benefit to. Mm -hmm. So it's a benefit to let me say it's a benefit to the user and to the the one who's broadcasting. Now there's a, there's the one who would uh, consider it as infringement, and if that happens, the, I always have my information there, and I'm gl I'll be glad to. Do Take it down. Yeah, but I'm I'm also working on uh, those those agreements mm -hmm. at the moment. I'm working on them, so I'm, I do, I also don't like the idea of infringing mm -hmm. or stepping on people's tools right, like that. So um, I am working on that right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it was my pilot. Uh, but he's a nice guy. Yeah. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why do people need mm -hmm. apps? Well, good question. Pe uh, people need apps for a lot of things. Um, and, and the reason why I say they need for a lot of things is because. 
um, the, the mobile phone we use today is, is, is very different from the first mobile phone that was made. Mm -hmm. The first uh, mobile phone was just to make a phone call and once you're done, that's it. Mm -hmm. But over time, it's become very advanced. It can do so much. It can do so much. Uh, your, your, your phone today can be your doctor. It can take your blood pressure. It can take your, it can take your heartbeat. It can, yeah, it can do that. It can mm -hmm. do so, it can, it, your phone can be your bank account. Your phone can be your, it can be your teacher, you can learn from there, your phone can be, can be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It can be your recorder, your microphone can be a lot of, so um, the need for apps is uh, to create a way where we can use the hardware or mm -hmm. the w to, to bring out the capabilities mm -hmm. in our phone. So for example, uh, uh, one, one good example is the M-Pesa app. Uh, um, I can put my money away safely uh, without having to to touch it and mm -hmm. I know it's safe and it's all through all through my phone mm -hmm. so for example if you're a business and uh, you'd want to <coughs> reach your clientele mm -hmm. uh, a bit more easier be in better communication better service delivery an application is a is a good way to do that it's a good way to deliver that uh, to them more efficiently mm -hmm. yeah okay so th we're not talking about one day where applications will become obsolete no, uh, I don't think so. I, 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 they've been around for a long time. I don't think they'll become obsolete. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where do you imagine the advances mm. will lead it to? Um, wow, well, the, the advances today are uh, actually mind-blowing, if, if I would say that. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of software, software mm -hmm. has really changed over the years. So you're talking about things like AI, the new... It's, bec it's become a bit common over the past one or two years. Mm -hmm. AI is, uh, for example, it's, it's a... It's let me artificial intelligence. So your applic the applications are, applications have become very smart. Mm -hmm. So today I can open an app that can uh, I can ask my app to to um, if uh, today I was doing a presentation, I mm -hmm. can tell it I'm doing a presentation for this and this and this. So give me give me an outline of a presentation. So it will develop a whole presentation for you. If you want videos, if you want photos, if you want uh, example conversations, an app can do all of that for you. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to post maybe uh, a YouTube video and you don't have content, it can generate content for you. It can tell chat you. Chat Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, chat, exactly, chat. Exactly. So you can see the advancements. It only keeps uh, getting better and mm -hmm. better, yeah. Is it a good thing? Is it going to mm -hmm. already, okay, let me start from here. Mm -hmm. His Excellency Ricardo Gashagwa just recently told us Ata tulanganya kuna kazi. Watu wa graduate tu, lakini mm. wasi expect vitu mingi. Yeah. Is there danger in AI mm -hmm. cutting our workforce almost in half? Um, yeah, there is. I, I will agree to that there is. And, uh, f but not for some, not for all. For some, not for all. Uh, it's, it's unavoidable. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. The only thing, the best thing to do is to embrace it to embrace uh, the capabilities and mm. work with it. Um, there, there are those people who, so for example, the, um, being a developer, mm. I can, someone can use AI to write an app without having to code, you know, without mm. having to use it. They, all they have to do is tell the AI, I want an app to do this and this. That means I lose my, my, uh, my work, right? Mm. But then there are, places, there are things that the AI can do. It can do some, but it can't do everything. Mm -hmm. Now, there are the nitty gritties that need to be done mm -hmm. <coughs> that AI can get to. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's smart, but not as a human being. So it, there's that worry. Yes, it's there, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, not that much. Not, not, you be worried, yeah, don't be too worried about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, is there a danger in AI getting smarter than people? Although mm -hmm. I think it's, okay, well, let me not say anything. People watch a lot of movies, robot yeah. uprisings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if, if that's the problem mm -hmm. here. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't imagine, because I have to program you, right? Yeah. So yeah. you cannot be smarter than the person who's programming. But is there a danger in I, AI? Yeah, there is a danger in, in things like AI. Um, the reason is the, actually there has been a situation where um, two AIs, I think it was by Facebook, <coughs> two AI computers, uh, they got so smart, they started having a conversation with each other. Wow. Yeah, and so as soon as the developers realized that the two computers are, are comprehensive talking. Comprehensive conversations. Yeah, comprehensive conversations. And th they were communicating, and one com computer, 
when this one speaks, the other one understands and it responds back without, without having a human in between them. So those took that, when they realized that, they had to shut them down <laughs> immediately. So it, wow. it, there is that danger where they can get too smart. So like you said in the movies, that they might get to a point where they believe humans are the source of the problems in this world. And wow. <laughs> it's possible, it's possible. It can, it's, it's, it's called a machine learning where computers get smarter and smarter every day by themselves without the need of a, of a human being necessarily. We've created monsters, haven't we? Yes and no. <laughs> why no? We've already discussed the yes, the why no? Why no? Because uh, there's a reason for that technology mm -hmm. and it's to make our lives easier, better, our businesses, everything. So there's a, there's a pro and there's a con at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just slapped us with the information and then tells chill. It's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Double-edged sword. Yeah. All right, tell me about how these applications turn into what I believe is entrepreneurship, how they, you know, melt into businesses, and how you make money off them. Well, that's a good question. Um, uh, there's there are lots of ways that apps can <clears throat> generate money. So, um, for example, if there's a... Uh, I can start from, for someone like me, I make apps for myself mm -hmm. and uh, when I make them I intend to make some, generate something. So I can make an app that, uh, and then once I make, I make an app that I know is going to solve a problem mm -hmm. and in the process of solving the problem I can generate some income. Mm -hmm. So I make the app and then I can use something called in-app advertising where I put ads in, inside the app. And uh, as ah, people use the app. That's how I just be minding my own business, playing Candy Crush, then boom, an ad. Yeah, an ad. So every time you watch that ad, the developer makes something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe five shillings or ten shillings. So if he has a million downloads, ten shillings times a million, oh. you get that. So it, 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 it actually has a good money if you, if you have the, the, the volume or the traffic. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's, also, it's a good idea to venture in. Uh, so the other way people can make money is um, in-app purchases. So purchases. So if you have an app where you're selling uh, uh, merchandise or you're, it's, a, it's, or it's a way for, for your, it's a link between you and your customers. Mm -hmm. It can make you more money for your business, for example. Like M-Pesa, M -Pesa, the M-Pesa app improve the, their transactions mm -hmm. for, for, for the company, right? Um, another way is, uh, like I told you, people can sell you information and they make money off that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there are also paid apps, the apps that you buy, you can make something that people would want to buy. Mm -hmm. They can buy your app. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can make an app and then sell it. And mm -hmm. then when I sell it, I make some money. Which one is, mm -hmm. is more, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, I want to say this, not really sustainable, mm -hmm. but it sounds like if, if you now you do the, the ads mm -hmm. inside the app or, yeah. okay, aside from selling my private information, which no. is not cool, guys, mm -hmm. it sounds like that lasts more, like the money accumulates a little bit more than just making an app and selling it and getting a whole bunch of money all at once. Mm -hmm. What's better here? Um, I think what's better is uh, look at the long term. I think the long term is better. It depends, mm -hmm. it depends by the way. <coughs> Um, because uh, the apps that are sold, for example, if I make an app that's, uh, um, that can be used by the government, for example, maybe it's very, it comes out to be very uh, beneficial to them, mm -hmm. uh, apps are not cheap. So if I make a really good app, I can sell it for maybe, um, maybe I'd estimate a million or to two million, a million upwards. An app, just the the one. Omega to Tanganyika to then one million is in your lap. In account. yeah, it's it, yeah. It, it, so if, if I was to sell it, I would make around that much. Um, but uh, if I was looking at the long term, um, um, I think I would go the way for having generating income uh, f over time. So mm -hmm. the in in app uh, advertisements is a good way. Mm -hmm. But so it depends on your taste. It depends the people who rather make them and sell them, or the people would rather eat, uh, generate income over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a special question, but you remember mm -hmm. you're still watching Why in the Morning at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag of the day is Thursday Vibes. Now, see, finance bill has been something we've been talking about for some time now, yeah. and we continue to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And where is the catch-22 in the apps? Where, where do you 
you know, kind mm -hmm. of bleed from the sides because of taxes or... Because of taxes? Yeah. Um, there, there was that digital, uh, there was the introduction of that digital tax. So I do, if, if you're asking whether I pay my taxes, I do no, pay no, my taxes. No, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> trusting that you're a good guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a good guy, so I, I do pay my, my, my taxes. Uh-huh. Um, so for, for uh, it's, it's uh, if I did it, they would know, by the way. They would know. Um, but uh, whatever I actually make, usually is already taxed uh, from the other end. Mm -hmm. But I also have to, to pay my, my income tax. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, so, for example, those in-app advertisements, uh, those, the ones that are paid for the advertisements, that mm -hmm. money was already taxed by, by Google. Mm -hmm. uh, the, money, the money you also make has to be taxed. But so, if you're asking if, uh, if you're going to have to pay your taxes, you're going to have to pay your taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Is there any other way the government, mm -hmm. you know, comes into play here? Do you have uh, things like copyright worries mm -hmm. or patent issues? Yeah. I, yeah um, it, it, it depends on the platform, it depends on the, on the content, um, the, it, I would call it fair use. I, I think Google has a, it, it, they know, they would know if you're infringing, infringing on, on other people's copyrights, they, they have a way of, of knowing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did do my research and I realized there have been this kind of applications for a very long time mm -hmm. and they've been doing more good than harm, right? So. Mm -hmm. If you say I have those worries, they're usually there. Uh, but like I said, if anyone feels that I'm infringing in any way, they can always reach me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you take it down immediately? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I like how honest he is. Yeah. All right. Let's take a break from that a bit. Mm -hmm. You said you're also an entrepreneur or you were an entrepreneur. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I did, did do a bit of entrepreneurship. I, uh, I the time I was making a... Uh, very diff the very far from technology by the way I was doing a um, let me see, I was making a I don't know if you heard of charcoal briquettes mm -hmm. yeah um, uh, I was making charcoal briquettes from uh, from charcoal waste mm -hmm. and uh, I, the reason I was doing that was because I wanted to to, to I come up with a way that I could make a, a affordable cooking solutions. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was more affordable than, than normal charcoal, mm -hmm. normal cooking charcoal. So mm -hmm. at that time, I think charcoal was going for, for 2,000, mm -hmm. and one bag of the briquettes I made was going for 1,000. Mm -hmm. So it, it could cast half. off yeah, wow. by half, yeah. Cooking costs down by half. So it's a... How are you not in the government? Excuse me, get in the Yeah, I'd appreciate that. But uh, it's, uh, it, uh, so I used to make them for, for the area where I used to stay. Mm -hmm. So it, as, as, a, as a venture, I, it provided employment to those who I was working with, provided good cooking solutions. People really loved that, that kind of, the, the, the charcoal. And uh, I would say it was my first baby. I really, really, uh, I'm still doing it, uh, but on and off. But I really, I had so many big visions for it. My, my biggest, uh, my goal was to get to a place where I I use uh, water hyacinth from the Lake Victoria. I can use that. Whoa! Yeah, I can use that to make, uh, process it and make charcoal uh -huh. instead of cutting down trees. Yeah. Okay, why I'm very startled is there's a time mm -hmm. it was in the news that the hyacinth was actually becoming a nuisance. Yeah. And look at you, you, you found a way to... Yeah. Ah, everyone won. <laughs> yeah. So how did you transition from that to uh, yeah. so, software? Uh, right, so uh, I... That was, I did that as soon as I left our campus. It was uh, just an idea I had. Uh, but it got to a point I realized, hey, I need to do what I went to school for. So <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, I quickly tr started getting into tech. I remember I started with a, 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 a laptop business. So I, was, I, I still sell them. I, used to, I started selling laptops and accessories mm -hmm. online. online. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I still sell them. I used to sell them. And then that's when I also uh, published my first ap application mm -hmm. on, on Google, so on, on Play Store. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, I know, it's, it, I know that two very different worlds, but it's, it's better to do something than not do it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Okay. I have another question. Mm -hmm. And first of all, shout out to Stephanie Ayata. She is our tech guru. Yes, this mm -hmm. is <coughs> strong yeah, but the hashtag mm -hmm. is Thursday vibes. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility that tech is is 
largely a man's world. For example, if you sell laptops, yes? Yeah. The question that's, uh, well, not really a guy, but mm -hmm. let's just assume mm -hmm. this is a bit gender-based. Mm -hmm. So if the male gender comes and buys a laptop for you, they'll probably yeah. ask you for the specs, the mm -hmm. RAM, whatnot. Mm -hmm. But perhaps, maybe I'm getting this off memes, mm -hmm. <laughs> perhaps. Mm -hmm. So the female gender will come and ask you, oh, I want a pink one. I want a wow. pink laptop. Uh -huh. Is that how it is, or are they just mm -hmm. making it out to be something that it's not? Yeah, it, it's it's kind of true. Uh, really? I would say it's kind of, well, ladies nowadays have upped their game. Uh -huh. If you're talking about gender, women have uh, become, they've gotten into technology uh, way more than I even thought they would. And they're really smart when it, they're very, there are very many women doing very big things in, in the tech world. Right. I like how smart you are for saying that first. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so they are, big, but uh, still, it's it's a uh, you can also appreciate where they came from. So the ladies who would come approach you and tell you, <coughs> I just want a nice laptop um, that does this and this and this mm. and this. So if I was to get techie and tell her and I start asking her, do you want one that has this kind of RAM or one that has this kind of space and storage? That has the, the that has this kind of graphics card. They tell me that's that's too much. You're telling me I just want something that can do this, <laughs> and this, and this. You know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say there was a point where it was a, a man's world, but it's becoming a world for both now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I like I like that. I told you it's mm -hmm. our time, guys. Mm -hmm. It's our time, guys. Hashtag is Thursday vibes. What do you love more, mm -hmm. tech or entrepreneurship? Do you even have to choose? Um, but, uh, wow, I had, had never thought of that, by the way. Um, I think I love tech more. Mm -hmm. I, I love tech more. Uh, I, I didn't even know I would be doing tech today. Mm -hmm. I had started off on a, on a very different career path. I had started off on a med medical field. The, yeah. You wanted to be a doctor? I wanted, I wanted to do nothing. Uh, Whoa! Yeah. You don't hear that often, <laughs> okay? I, I know, very funny. So I, uh, so when I when just before I, I I reported to school because I had applied for a degree, just before I reported, my, someone changed my mind about about doing tech. And they told me, hey, by the way, um, e e e you know talk for ya, I bambi, he me na bamba, you know. <laughs> so they told me that. So I, I applied for a degree in computer science at, at JQuat and in mathematics and computer science. And I can say it was love at first, at first code. You mm -hmm. can say love at first sight. It was love at first, at first code. I, mm -hmm. I fell in love with tech. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with chipsets. I fell in love with how the phone works, how the computer works. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, I can say I breathe it. I think about it a lot. So I, 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 I love, I can say I love tech more than, than entrepreneurship. You are insanely smart. Like you applied to be a nurse and, and yeah. got in. Yeah, I and did. And then you yeah. applied. I applied something <laughs> And got it. Like <laughs> for you, you're spoiled for choice. Yes, yeah, spoiled. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. yeah Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Eh. You're impressive, Mark. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you advise someone to take the tech path, seeing as how technology literally is, is about to take over? Do you think that's we should get on the bandwagon early? Mm, yeah. It, uh, I don't think you can ever go wrong with tech mm -hmm. uh, because the field is very wide, it's very broad and uh, uh, there's actually a need for more tech. As tech advances, there's a need for more tech people. I could say that in, in a few years there could be a shortage, right? Uh, um, so, in fact, the people who are, are making, they're going out of the way to train tech people for free or give the, that tech training. There's a lot of tech training in schools nowadays mm -hmm. because they realize that in the near future, there would be a need for those kind of people, mm -hmm. tech people. So technology is not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. um, and there are many ways of uh, developing something good for yourself uh, through tech. And I always, I always tell people, you can go wrong with tech. There's, it's very wide, it's very, but there's so much you can do. Mm -hmm. Outside even employment, you, there's so much you can do for yourself. So I tend to say you can never go wrong with tech. Outside employment, so that means I mm -hmm. can have a nine to five, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. I can have a career and I can do tech. Yeah, it's an can, option. It's an option. I'm, when I say outside employment, I mean you don't, you don't have to be employed. Ah. Yeah, you, okay. can, you can employ yourself. Uh huh. Yeah. 
which is technically what we should be thinking about right now, yeah, seeing yeah. as how we've been told <laughs> yeah. by His Excellency. Mm -hmm. We should listen. All right, Mark, thank you for coming. Do you Thanks have so any much. last remarks, or do you want to emphasize something before we leave? Um, uh, am I looking at the camera, or I'm just looking at you? Wherever is fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, uh, maybe, maybe I could ask guys, people to uh, download my, my applications. On, yes, on, do uh, that. On, on, on Play Store. So if you go on Play Store, you can, on App Store, Google Play Store, you can search uh, Smooth Radio. There's Smooth Radio. It has a red icon and an S. Uh, you can download that. Um, you can also, within the app, you can find, a you can also search for TV Kenya. So with those applications, you can stream radio and you can watch TV. Also, if there's anyone who would like to have me develop apps for them, I don't know if I should give them my contacts or... Sure, if yeah. you're comfortable. Um, you can reach me out on 0729-097-750. All right. Yeah. Thank you so very much, Mark, for coming. Thanks so much. Uh, you have that definitely taught me something. I hope you've learned something as well. Way. It's been a very interesting conversation. Guys, you're still watching Why in the Morning at White 5 on Facebook, Y254 channel on a Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day remains to be Thursday vibes. Stay with us.